Hello and welcome to the Northwest Group solution for adding a Xerox print driver to Windows XP. Uh, to get started, you're going to need um, the IP address of the printer you're adding, uh, as well as the print driver itself. If you don't already have the driver, you can go ahead and go to Xerox.com. Um, when you launch that page, you'll see support and drivers at the top. And you can just go ahead and actually type in the model number of the printer uh, in this field here and find the drivers. I went ahead and um, already did that and I downloaded the, the uh, zip file to my desktop and unzipped it. Um, so once you have that information, go ahead and go to start and select printers and faxes. If you do not see printers and faxes, go ahead and hit control panel and you should see it in that list. We're just going to go through the add a printer wizard. So here on the left, go ahead and hit add a printer. Next, we're going to be adding a local printer. On this screen, go ahead and hit create a new port and go to the drop down box and choose standard TCP IP port. We'll choose next and we're going to create the port. Uh, we're going to need the IP address of the printer, so go ahead and type that in in this field. And hit next once you've done that. On the next screen, go ahead and hit custom and go to settings. Um, for Xerox products, we're going to change the port to an LPR port with the queue name of LP. Uh, once you type that into the queue name, go ahead and hit OK and hit next once again. We're going to finish the port setup here and go back to that apparent wizard. Next, you're going to hit have disk and you're going to browse out to the folder. Um, where you unzipped the driver already. Uh, I have that on my desktop. 7120. Um, when you find the driver, uh, you'll see the driver file. Go ahead and open that and hit OK. Uh, you'll see uh, the list of the Xerox products for this particular driver. In this case, we only have one. So we have the 7120. Go ahead and hit Next. Give the printer a name. Uh, I'll just leave it at the default of Xerox Work Center 7120 PS. And then if you want it to be the default, yes or no, hit next. If you want to share the printer out, you can go ahead and hit the radio button and give it a share name. Hit next. And then if you want to print out a test page, I'm going to say no and print it out a little later. You'll see soon. Um, and then go ahead and hit next and finish. And it will then copy the printer files into the appropriate folder on your computer. Once it has copied those files over, you will then see a new printer in your printer and faxes folder. Um, there's our new printer we just added. I'm going to go ahead and right click on that printer now and go to properties and check to see if the configuration is correct. If you have any a finisher or additional paper drawers, you're going to need to take this step as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to the configuration tab and go down to installable options. Uh, in this case, my finisher output tray should be set to office finisher LX and you'll see the image bullet change to show my printer. Go ahead and hit OK and apply. If you want to change the default from color to black and white, you can also go to the general tab and printing preferences. You'll see the driver pop up here on the screen. I'm just going to go up to color options and change this from auto color to black and white. This way, anything I print to the machine will come out in black and white unless I come in here and tell it otherwise. Go ahead and hit OK. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and hit a print test page and test my printer.